Hello there YouTube and the Jailbreak community. It's uh, Modripod here. I'm here to show you one of my favorite, um, and honest, one of my honest favorite um, tweaks um, that you can get on the iPhone, iPod, and iPad. And it's called Color Keyboard. Now I'm running on iOS 5.1.1, which is just jailbroken yesterday. It's great and it works, and Color Keyboard seems to be um, more the partly compatible mostly to you can fully customize your stuff and it's not much of a hassle at all so you can get color keyboard by going into Cydia and basically just searching for color board uh, color whoops color keyboard sorry and you get it from some source and usually this costs two bucks and there's ways to get it for free but I'm not gonna be telling you unfortunately for those crackers out there um, and I'm not being racist <laughs> I'm actually just saying crackers as in people who get free um, free apps and all that stuff actually you know I'm so white I probably am a cracker but um, anyways so yeah this is how you do it you usually download it, it cost two bucks and there's free ways to get it but I will not be showing you how all right, so now that we're out of Cydia, all that we have to do now is go into our settings. Note that this is not an app and you cannot find it anywhere on your springboard. Now scroll down to your jailbroken app section. You should find one called Color Keyboard right here. Now, what we're gonna do is make sure the enable switch is on. Now that you've checked that your enable switch in Color Keyboard is on, we're just going to go through the features of Color Keyboard and see how how we use it technically and all that crap. So basically the first option we have is select themes. Themes make your keyboard look cool. Obviously, that's what themes are. They, they take something and they revamp it and make it look cooler. If you've ever used something like Winterboard or Dreamboard, there you go, there's an example. Now basically we have all these themes to pick from. I've got one selected called Fat Martino Lime G1. And if you press the little arrow right there, right, uh, hold on a minute, right here, it'll show you a little preview of from a site. That's what um, everything should be looking like if you get this uh, this theme set. Or there's the pink color, you can look at that too. That's what that should look like. But I have this one selected. Now, as you select your theme, you can select a pop up key. So when you're texting, and you see the keys pop up when you press a letter and you see the big letter come up that's what this is so you can select the color of that I have selected blue this one doesn't feature the um, the internet preview although you could probably guess what it would look like we have our pop-up key selected we have a nice little feature called customized backgrounds basically what customizing our backgrounds allows us to do is take a background on our selected keyboard theme and and put a picture of yours or a default picture that they've given you behind it and this is cool and you can do it for the portrait background and the landscape background so you could have one picture as the portrait background and a completely different picture as the landscape background but you have to enable the custom BG first meaning background enable custom background now leave iPhone alert background blank for it now I am on iOS 5.1 and when I had that enabled and selected it was very glitchy and um, it caused me to go into safe mode a few times until I disabled it. But right now we're going to go to iPhone standard. Portrait background, I have selected things from my camera roll. That's my bird right here and this is the picture. I'm using a Halo, Halo 3 ODST picture um, because yeah I'm a Halo nerd. But you can um, add images by pressing the add image button, either taking a picture or choosing one from your library. There's lots of pictures to choose from in your library if you, you know, do it a lot. But you can pick any 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 picture you want really. So um, I like the Zelda one right here. It's pretty pretty bamf because I'm a Zelda nerd too. And you just say choose and you can select that one. But I'm gonna keep it on my Halo 3 ODST one. Same as landscape background, vice versa. I have Halo 3 ODST enabled on my landscape backgrounds. And then you just press back. 
keyboard radius, I haven't really um, figured out what this is yet, but I just left it blank because it's not very critical. There's also something called the theme gallery, and you can do lots of stuff by looking at other themes there, but I haven't yet quite figured out how to um, install these themes yet, although there's really cool ones like the WP, the Windows Phone 7 Cyan Gray and stuff, but I haven't figured out how to install these yet. After you're done with all this, you need to press the save button right here. And it'll ask you if you want to restart your springboard. Respring it. We have resprung our thing after uh, setting our options for color keyboard. We should have our color keyboard near should look something sort of like this. Depending on what you chose, the picture, the background, the font, all that crap, whatever, um, should look customized like mine sort of does. And it should be cool looking if you type. So there you go. And that's color keyboard for you. It's a pretty cool tweak. Oh, that's color keyboard for you. So if you like this video, comment, rate, subscribe. If you like my theme on my keyboard, how well it was set up, do that. And if you got any other keyboard themes that you think beat this one, which there probably are out there, show me. Put a response to this video. Have a nice day, people. And f*** you, San Diego.